using the UCS. The bottom left corner has the user coordinate system. Let's go ahead and learn some useful ways to use this when creating new geometry. Here is a simple design of two rectangles. One is slanted at an angle and another is just 90 degrees to the user coordinate system and how it's set up right now. You have this design too. You can go ahead and open a new design, go to chapter 5 and open WCS. I'll go ahead and cancel this right now because I already have it open. Let's say we want to have a rectangle right above this, but the rectangle edge has to be perpendicular to this edge here, or maybe this edge here. So how do we do that? Well, there's a couple ways that we can. Let's find out the easiest way by using the UCS method. I'll go ahead and select this rectangle here, and if I want to just make a rectangle here, it's going to go ahead and be parallel here and perpendicular there but I need one that's kind of slanted towards this rectangle here and that would be kind of difficult to do unless we go ahead and create a rectangle get a rotation find out this angle and maybe we don't want to do all that I'm going to go ahead and select this rectangle and delete it myself well another thing we can do is we can type UCS enter and now we can move the coordinate system as we want I can specify a new origin or use all these options down here face named object previous view world x y z and z axis well the easiest one for me to choose is going to be this one object i'm going to go ahead and select this object here and now as you can see my grid has changed and aligned itself to this rectangle now i can go ahead and activate the rectangle command make sure i have ortho mode turned on and now I can specify my first corner and I can go ahead and drag out just like that let's do this one more time because that time I just only put down a line I'll specify a point and pull it out to the side so as you can see once I change the coordinate system all my lines are aligned to the new system when ortho mode is turned on I'll click around a few times just so you can see I'll hit enter to escape and now it's all kind of cluttered so I'm gonna go ahead and select these lines here delete and select these lines here and delete as well well now maybe I need to return the coordinate system back to the way it was because now we're done do all that's easy I can go ahead and type in UCS enter and select world and there you go that's an easy way to align your objects parallel to each other when the coordinates of your new other objects might be slanted just a little bit. Another way you can do this is by selecting the UCS icon itself and you can drag any of these little handles out. Let me select it again and you can rotate. Ortho mode seems to be causing me a little bit of difficulty so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and there you go. I can grab this grip pull it down, I can grab this grip, pull it to the side, again pull it down, I can select this grip here and I can re put it back to world again. Select it, move in a line, move origin only, so I can move it over here, I can go ahead and select it, move it again, and I put it back to where it originally was. Moving your UCS can be very helpful when creating different types of geometry. So keep that in mind if you have some angled walls and you need to create geometry that's parallel to it.